Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing really well and having a fantastic day. We need to talk. There's an important update that you need to know if you are running Besson on your Umbra node. So let's get started and right into it. As you can see, we are here on X and I've opened up the, the post from Amberl, which is basically an information for you to update your Besson application if you do use so. So what is Besson? Besson is a front end or a tool that you can, or an app, however you want to call it, that you can download on your Umbrella node in order to mine to your very own pool on your Umbrella node. Under the hood is running CK pool and Besson is the front end, a nice web interface that allows you to check your stats, show everything that you need, that you do want to see on your device. Besson has been created by DuckEggs, which is a lovely member of our community, OpenSource-Minus United. And he was creating this front end and was packaging it with a CK pool instance in a Docker container which he tested locally on his end. Umbrel during the testing phase did had some issues with testing that some things were not really working when it comes to running Umbrel on a Raspberry Pi. So they decided to use a different Docker container. Basically think about a container or like an abstraction for how things run on your device. What they didn't do is they didn't check how this other container does work properly. That is so far how I figured the issue out or how I read it on certain posts. As you do see, Trent Craft here was also posting about it and he was going a little bit into detail what he thinks was happening and was also pointing out the issue. What is the issue? The issue basically is the Docker container for the CK pool that Umbrel shipped with Besson together was a malicious one. And I want to show you a tool that you can use in order not to be surprised if you do try to mine to your own pool and out of a sudden you do think, well, it's okay to just trust other people and run their software and don't verify it. That is not the approach that you should take because the pool or the Docker container that was been used for this CK instance was only shipping 0.6 Bitcoin to your address and the rest would go to the developer or to the one who actually shipped this Docker container. So it was really malicious and a huge amount of Bitcoin would have been lost if you would have mined a block with this particular instance. So let's quickly take a look on the GitHub page from DuckX. Here's his, his Besson, his web interface that he does use. And you do see the data flow here, down here from CK pool over to the web server. And then there's the Besson widget as well as the Besson UI. So basically that is how the flow works. There's a CK pool running and then Besson just attaches to that and shows you the stats. It does work pretty nice. It is a lovely thing. I unfortunately don't have a Umbrella node running, so I cannot show you that live, but I can show you the tool that I want to encourage you guys to use. There are also other tools that you can figure out to use, but for the simplicity of this video, I'll just use it with a test server, for example, or with public pool. So the really problem that we had here, and as I said, Trendcraft was pointing that out, is that the issue with Besson was they have not done the important steps of checking and verifying what they shipped. That is so far from what I do have seen. The Coinbase trans transaction would be malicious and would only ship you a certain amount of Bitcoin. As soon as Doug Eggs figured this out, he immediately made an important remove for removing Bassem because he does not want to ship such a thing. And he wasn't aware that there were some changes on the end of the CK pool instance on the Docker container that Umbra was shipping on the on the app store that they do use or that they do offer to you. But kudos to Umbrel, they were really quickly figuring this out because a lot of people made such a huge amount of noise and told, well, you need to stop downloading that. And if you do have Basin running on your Umbrel node, I really encourage you to quickly update that or 
use the tool that I will show you in just a second and check out if your instance is malicious or not. So what tool am I talking about? It's called Pool Investigator. It's just a Python script that I quickly wrote a couple weeks ago, one week ago. And it's just a simple tool to check how much does the Coinbase pay out to you and how much to other instances. For example, if you do mine to a pool with a certain fee, like 2% fee, you would expect that 98% of the block reward would go to you and the rest would go to something else, to another address. With the malicious version of Basin, of the CK pool Docker container, I, I like to be specific here, you only receive 0.6 BTC. So not even not even 60%, less than less than 50% did you receive and the other rest would have gone to the distributor of the package, which is unfortunate. So let's quickly open up VS Code and let's take a look on how this actually does look like. So if we're in here, I'll quickly activate my Python instance. So I'm not trying to actually show you how to install Python or anything else. I do hope that there are other videos that you can quickly find and figure out how to use Python. I'm also here running everything on Linux, so bear with me, things might look different on my device. But apart from that, the only thing I need to do is I need to run the investigator here. And what I can do is I can put in stratum plus TCP, double point slash slash, and then uh, let's use public dash pool dot IO, and then double point three, 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 three. And now we need a worker name. Give me a second. So here we got a worker name. And what it's doing, it is quickly figuring all the things out, and it's giving me a result. And we do see down here, the payout address found, it did found the payout address of me that I put in here. As you can see, if I do paste it again in here, this is the exact payout address. There's no other address. And the pool investigator will also give you a JSON file so that you can investigate that. Here are the payout addresses. One is actually the address and the other one is the OP return with nothing. So you do receive 100%, as you can see, 100 percentage. If we would switch this over, for example, to something else, stratum plus TCP double point slash slash, uh, solo dot CK pool. Uh, I'm not sure if it's dot or, or dash CK pool dot org double point three 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 worker name. Let's see. It is now subscribing. It's getting a mining job. And as you can see here with CK pool, uh, my address is only receiving 98% of it and 2% is going to the death of CK pool, which is totally fine because he does advertise it on there. But that's the point. This tool just quickly allows you to figure that out and see that. And you can just use that. For example, if I do test this uh, on Stratum Plus TCP on my local node that I do run, which is a public pool instance, and I just paste in my work address here, we do see that I do receive 100% of my return or of my payout which is not always the case, and it's good to be curious. It's good to be cautious. So make sure that you do check this out and that you are not getting any malicious software running on your device. Make sure to verify. That's it for today's video. I just wanted to give you a quick update on that, and I do hope you find this informational. If so, bear with me. There are new videos coming out every now and then. Till then, peace out.